Hello, I'm Mary McPherson and I'm reading from my new book, Social Media. It's published by the Cuba Press. Inventing a person. First, they'll need your house. It's bricks burning, radium red. The mother with cool, dry hands and a particular hallway with doors opening to shadowed rooms. You must give them urgent teenage desires. Kissing, sex, a horse, an opposite life. Then they need a friend. Plump, ginger-haired, with freckles. To remember later, with shame or tenderness. When the friend speaks of holidays, boys or stones. You must know the light that goes on. Or the stain that darkens the mind. And what gets reflected in tall windows. Then you must give the friend opinions about apples walking home in the dark, their friend's habit of chewing their hair, and know whether your person notices the friend noticing the chewing. Dog. She thought of herself as a portrait, not the kind she was afraid of as a child with expressions sharp as arrows. In her picture, fingers rippled across the rough heartbeat of a fence. When she looked through her curtain of hair, lips a soft O, people and trees appeared as faded transparency. Her sense of not belonging was a devoted ragged dog snuffling alongside. Except... She forgot to imagine a leash, so the dog figured it was free to run to the glittering bush at the end of the street. Alone, she practiced stepping outside the frame, saying, really, and answering quiz questions, and grinning. Sometimes she got it, and buildings moved out of the shadows, revealing themselves solid as fences. It was a fine day, and the world stood up for her. Shadows lay down at her feet.